Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have the pleasure of talking to Robert Hollis from Unlimited Profits. Uh, good evening to you, Robert. Good evening here in Europe, that is. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, morning here, it's noon here in, in United States, Montana. And uh, Paul, I'm really looking forward to doing this with you uh, uh, all the way to Spain. It's, uh, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to doing this interview with you. Okay, fantastic. Let's talk about uh, a lot of stuff. I've been into the training now myself, just uh, just under one month. Found, find some, I found some some fantastic, some powerful stuff that, having been a, a student of uh, self development, Jim Rohn, Anthony Robbins, etc., for many many years, and um, I think your your story is uh, well, it's a legend in in the industry. Maybe let's start off talking a little bit about your, your background, if that's okay. Sure, not at all. Uh, you know, me, I just was the average person. I still tell people I'm an average person that just attempted some above average things. And uh, so you only know, uh, you know the, the information based on the people that you hang around. I learned that is a very important deal. So, you know, all my relatives were blue collar workers or plumbers, doc, uh, plumbers uh, electricians. Uh, you know, uh, carpenters. Uh, I was a mechanic, and we didn't have any doctors in the family. And and so, you know, I just went out there and worked really, really hard with my hands. Uh, and all of a sudden, I got hurt on the job, Paul. And when I got hurt on the job, I was basically told by doctors that I couldn't be a mechanic anymore, that I couldn't support my weight on my leg, and that you know I needed to find a different career. And I tell people, your mind's like a parachute. If it doesn't open, it doesn't work. And, and so I was open-minded, I was really desperate, and I met a person that was making at that time $6,200 uh, a month, United States, U.S. And, and it was amazing to me that this guy was only a few years older than I was, um, and he didn't have really any college education. And so he told me that he would teach me, that ended up being my mentor. And from learning skills from him and learning how to do communications and really honestly learning how to think the right way, uh, because I had a lot of stinking thinking, uh, being sort of a, an analytical person, an engineer, I was constantly, Paul, looking for how to do something and what to do. So my questions always was, hey, Paul, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you do this? Or, you know, my question was, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Little did I know that if I didn't know how to think, know how and know what is ever going to work. I, I just never, ever really believed in myself. I didn't think the things that I was doing would work. I didn't think I was that technical. And so I had to work on my thinking. And when all of a sudden my thinking clicked and I went, wow, you know, if Paul can do this, so can I. If Bill can do this, so can I. If that guy is doing it, so can I. And I never ever bragged on myself that I could do it as good as they could. But if they're making 60 grand a month, I thought I could at least do 10% of that. And if I did 10% of that, that's more than I ever made as an auto mechanic. And so that, of course, was about 27 years ago. Uh, you know, now you look forward, and I've been blessed to build groups of totaling over a million uh, people in them and, and, and virtually everywhere in the world and built a residual income of over two and a half million dollars a year. My biggest claim to fame, Paul, is, is I've helped 45 people now make over a million dollars in one year. Seven of them now own their own marketing company. So I'm very, very, very blessed. I love mentoring and teaching people how to do this. And now I just set my goals a lot higher with unlimited profits. I, I want to take that 45 to 1,000. So uh, I really believe that I can do that before I'm no longer on this planet. So, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Well, well, that uh, that is in itself quite a quite an accomplishment, and and of course you have the the track record and the documentation to uh, to, pro to prove that. I think um, these days it's evident from a lot of the companies making claims on the internet in terms of training. But a lot of them, um, they don't seem to, they make exaggerated claims and, and I think a lot of them they don't deliver. So there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of people out there, possibly some of them watching that have had, you know, a bad experience with these companies. They've invested money on spurious, you know, promises. Sure. Um, so what would, you, what would you say to them? What would you recommend to them um, in terms of unlimited profits and what that could offer them, Robert? 
Well, one of the things I just ask people to do, Paul, is take it one more level. Just one more level. See, what a lot of people do is they get really excited based off somebody else's success, which, like you said, we don't know. We don't know if that's exaggerated or correct. I would ask you, instead of looking at somebody's success, why don't you ask them who they've taught? So I use this example in a lot of my interviews, Paul, and let's say that you are going to take your, your children to like a martial arts studio to, so they could learn how to do martial arts. And you did your research, you found out the art that you wanted your kids to learn, you went to a one dojo, it's a studio, and you went there and you seen trophies all over the place. And you said to the guy that owns the place, wow, there's a lot of trophies here. And the person says, yeah, you know, I've won a lot of world championships, I've won a lot of, you know, uh, world games, I've won a lot of competitions. And so these are my trophies. And you go, okay. So then you go to another school and you walk in there and there's three times more trophies in that room. And you walk in there and you go, wow, look at all those trophies. And he goes, yeah, those are all the trophies of my students. <laughs> immediately gotcha. you know which one you're going to pick and see because the first one might have a lot of documentation but it doesn't mean that you do can do it so you want to make sure you find someone that's got documentation of other people doing it uh, I said a neat example the other day that just because people have knowledge doesn't mean they they have experience and you know that you and I being a, a little older and, and, you know, like I told somebody, let's say that you got in a tragic car accident and you were being rushed to the emergency room and everyone told you, listen, don't worry, Paul, you're in good hands. Uh, and all of a sudden this guy comes in and you look up at him and, you know, he must be 20, 22 years old. And you look at him and go, who are you? And he goes, I'm the surgeon that's going to work on you. And you go, well, how many times have you done surgery? And he goes, this is my first time. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so a lot of people need to find people that have documented stories of people helping them. And I say reach out to those people. So, you know, it's amazing that if you did this and other things in life, like if I was going to have one of my cars worked on. You know, I wouldn't have my buddy say to me or my friend or a relative say, hey, I'll work on your car. I'll go, no thanks. You know what I mean? It's like, what do you know about cars? And then if he turned around and said, well, I know this good mechanic, I would go to this good mechanic and say, listen, do you have some other people that you can give me their names and numbers that I could call them up to see how good of a mechanic you are? Now, a good mechanic is not offended. A good mechanic or a good producer is proud of the fact that he could give you names of some students that he could talk to. When someone's immediately offended by that question, you know they don't have anyone for you to talk to. Correct. I understand. That's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I know... Uh, Go ahead. No, I can say I know the, uh, the numbers have been picking up substantially because, uh, well, we've got free training and mentorship. Uh, it's 100, 120 days free training and mentorship, which is good for any network business. So I know the uh, the subscribers have been picking up uh, pretty much worldwide. Can we, can we let's talk about that a little bit? Yeah, and and believe it or not, it's a we have over 125,000 people now that are free members all over the world. We have a little over 12,000 uh, people that are actually wow. paying members. Uh, we grew over 300% just in the month of February. And one of the things, Paul, is the free training is free forever. Uh, uh, when a person gets in, I want them to learn from us for free as long as they want to and until they're ready. And here's a real, pretty remarkable thing. They can learn from us, share their affiliate links, and if anyone decides to buy any of the mentorship or training that we have in our back office, we'll pay you even though you never paid any money. Now, of course, if you pay more money, you know, if you get into the mentorship program or the pro affiliate at $99, well, then you're going to make over 51% plus matching bonuses, you know, 10% on your whole group, uh, a, a lot of neat things like that. But, you know, our whole goal is to get people in for free and, and let them understand what we do so they can get results before they decide to pay. 
Fantastic. So in other words, people can try out the system, sample the training, make money recommending the training, and then uh, obviously decide then if they, uh, if they want to upgrade or not, correct? Absolutely, absolutely, and and I think that you're a testament. As long as 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 much as other people, we have so many people that have never ever made money online or never made money involved in any kind of home-based business. And you know, they get involved with us in their first 30 days. They're making $700 US to $2,000 a month. And so we have all kinds of documented stories like that in our groups. Uh, people get it become part of us. We add them to the group. They can. I love when I tell people all the time. I dare you to go into the group and say, "Is anyone making money?" Because my group will just post checks all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So moving on from that, I know a, a lot of the uh, the sayings or the the proverbs in your training have developed from a, a direct result of your uh, your experience. You know, in sales, and I love that stuff. I mean, for example, um, off the top of my head, uh, you, you can't say the the wrong thing to the right people, um, and this kind of stuff. Yes. I mean, how did how did how did all these uh, sayings are they, are they your your own or they've come about from other other leaders or a combination of the two? I you 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 already figured it out. It's definitely the combination of the two. I like you, uh, Paul. Am a am an avid avid learner and seeker. I'm I'm constantly seeking out information, and I think that overall, what some of the things that I say. Are like a combination of lot, not only stuff that's been here way before us. You know what I mean? I always think it's funny how you know people just keep reinventing and re-saying the same stuff, but just in a different way. So it you know that that it has a little more relevance in this day and age. And and uh, you know I, I people sometimes call them holicisms. Uh, one that I haven't been able to track back. Uh, I don't know where I got this saying, but someone said that they're going to put it up in a quote thing. Is you know is with if you know if what you know uh, if what you know is true, and it wasn't when would you like to know? Yeah, and, and uh, so you got a uh, lot of people out there. Yeah, one time I believed working for a job was a way to be successful, and I no longer believe that. My, one of my favorites. Thank you. Yeah, excellent. I know there's an another one uh, as well that uh, that I saw yesterday. I was just catching up with, uh, I think, the time that uh, Molly interviewed you, which is people don't care how much you know until they know you care, which is uh, another another very good one, I think. Yes, yes, sir. It's and, and I love those. And again, I know I probably picked up quite a few of them from, you know, Jim Rowan. Jim Rowan was, uh, when people ask me what my lineage is, which... That's another reason I love talking about martial arts. Is you know everyone that knows uh, Jim Rowan, I actually have a lot of his audios. But now you can find almost everything he said on Facebook, which is awesome, just by putting in Jim Rowan R O H N. Uh, but if you go to thank you, thank you Jim Rowan .com, you're going to see an archive of audios that I've had from him for years. He was one of my mentors. Uh, he'll tell everyone that you know his mentor was Earl Shelf. Uh, Jim Rowan, a lot of people don't know this, but Jim Rowan started out in network marketing and, and uh, that's where he got all his skills. And, and so Earl Schulf owned a network marketing company. So when Earl Schulf died at a young age of 42 years of age, then Jim Rowan went to a company called um, Herbalife that we've all heard of. And the people that he taught there was, of course, Larry Thompson and Larry Huff. Uh, Larry Huff and Larry Thompson were partners in Herbalife, and they taught two guys named Jeff Roberti and Bill Gold that were my mentors. And so that's my lineage, you know. So there's my uplines have made uh, over a hundred million dollars in commissions in this in this industry, and they say that you know Larry Thompson is around that three four hundred million mark uh, that he's made. In marketing, so it's a neat lineage. I always tell people, don't look at me as being so smart. If I learn from people that made a uh, hundred million dollars and I've only made, you know, forty-five, then I'm not that smart. I'm, I'm. <laughs> so that's funny. <laughs> 
Yes, I sure. And I think a lot of people as well. I think to a lot of people, it, it's it's a new concept to having a mentor. Of course, yeah. coming from a, a martial arts background myself, in, in terms of the the Muay Thai, I studied. Of course, you you have to have a, a master that, that takes you forward. But I think a lot of people. I think um, again, I had someone say the other day, "Why do I need a mentor?" Um, and if, obviously, if somebody that asks that question, then it's evident that very much do need a mentor. Would you, yeah. would you agree? Well, I, I would say, Paul, a, a person doesn't need a mentor if they're no longer interested in growing. You know what I mean? I've used a lot of analogies with this, and yeah. and I tell people if you if you just wanted to do one thing, let's say that you knew of a wedding that was coming in, in the future. Let's say there was going to be a wedding like, I don't know, four months from now. And I know a lot of people have thought about this because we all love to dream. Some people have probably stopped dreaming, but we've all had that thought where, wow, wouldn't it be cool if I showed up at a karaoke and I picked up the microphone and everybody just went, oh my God, I can't believe that that's coming out of Paul's voice. And I know why that 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 that's true because those are the YouTube videos that go viral is you get a person that steps in front and then they wow everyone you know because they have this incredible talent well let's talk about that with dancing so if you made a decision that you're gonna show up at one of your sons were gonna get married and you knew about it and you thought wow I'm just gonna show up there and I'm just gonna you know flip everybody out I'm gonna take dancing lessons and I'm gonna really really clear off the dance floor well here's the here's the thing one is make a decision two is make a commitment to doing it now once you make a commitment to doing it now you gotta find an instructor right so you could get books I know a lot of people love books you could read a book you could watch some maybe YouTube videos or buy maybe a DVD series uh, uh, by finding it online or what you could do is you could find a local studio and have a mentor watch you and correct you while you're making the moves. Second step is you're around a other group of people that are uncomfortable learning at the same time as you are. So now you don't feel so uncomfortable because they're stepping on other people's toes, they're making the wrong moves, everyone's giggling but they're giggling together not at you and so you can learn at a very accelerated pace because you have a mentor there the same Paul listen no problem you're doing just like everybody else and you're going really because I feel pretty stupid here you know things are not going really well you know I can't remember the steps and he's going listen no problem just keep going I'm gonna show you let's do this let's do this and there's no doubt that if you put the time in with a documented mentor that when you showed up at your son's wedding you could wow everybody and everybody would go wow where did and guess what's the two things that they always say man I wish I would do that I wish I had the time to do that isn't it amazing and if they walked up to yeah. you so afterwards everyone's like blown away and they walk up to you afterwards Paul and they go Paul man how did you do that and you said I made a decision, made a commitment, found a studio, and showed up every day. Oh, that sounds like work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or, so oh, they would yeah. say, they would say, A, it sounds like work. Two, I I just could never do that. Uh, three, I don't have the time. And four, what did that cost you, Paul? See, they've already come up with the excuses in their mind. So if you said, oh, it only cost me, you know, $30 a month. Well, I could never do that. I don't have the time. You watch TV every night. It only takes an hour and a half every night, dr including driving time. Oh, oh, well, I guess I just don't want to do it. So you can take all their excuses away. They still got to make a decision. They got to find a mentor, and they got to show up. Exactly. Well, one of the other things I think I got out of the training is the, in terms of the, the learning of the mindset that you have to succeed. Because you know, for example, when the Romans invaded the UK, you know, uh, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, 
you know, when they got off the ships, they got all the soldiers on the cliffs of uh, the White Cliffs of Dover, and they burnt the ships in front of the soldiers. Yeah. So, so any thoughts that those soldiers had of going back home to Italy? Then, if they were going, they were swimming. Right. And, uh, and I think with that, with that kind of mentality, you know, similar to your own situation, going back on that, if I may is that when you had the accident with the car, it's you had to go forward, right? You had to... Correct. Mm, I tell people there's only... something. Yeah, there's only two things that will really, really get people to succeed based on all the interviews and study of success that I've done. And one is you run into people that get inspired. So I always use examples of young children in the, in the Olympics. You know, so at a young age, a young, young girl or a young boy sees somebody in the Olympics and they go, God, oh, mom and dad, that's what I want to do. I want to get into gymnastics or I want to get into figure skating. And they're inspired because somebody else did it. So that's one way that always works because they have such a burning desire and they're inspired by somebody else that always did it. And it's always amazing, isn't it? It's not by accident when they interview those people that do win the medals. They can say, oh, I can remember when I was a little girl that I watched so-and-so. Or I can remember when I was a little boy I watched so-and-so. See what I mean? So one of the things that I say is the key to success is you got to find someone that's a role model and find someone that can inspire you. If they did it, I can do it. The second part is in my, my situation is instead of inspiration, it came from desperation. <laughs> so I needed to find a way to, to support my family. I grew up in a traditional kind of mentality where the, 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 the father, the, the husband was the breadwinner. And, and, you know, my wife made a decision. We made a decision together that she would take, stay home and take care of the children. And so when I no longer could bring in the, the bread, the cash flow, to take care of the family, that weighed heavily on me. And so that makes you do things that you normally didn't, don't want to do. And, and so I made up all the excuses, Paul, that I didn't think I was smart enough. I didn't think I was good enough. I didn't think I was worthy enough. Um, you know, I, I made up all the excuses. But when your family's about ready to get kicked out of your home, you stop making excuses. Now, I know some people continue to make excuses. You know what I mean? So it ends up going bad for them. <laughs> you know, because if they continue yes. making excuses, they usually don't have a family. You know, because that family usually will make a decision that they got to go out and take care of themselves because the person that was supposed to take care of their family made a decision not to. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, well, it's been fantastic speaking to you. Uh, very interesting chatting with you, Robert. Um, I know I saw Molly Z's video yesterday. I saw she, she picked up her dog in the, uh, in the interview. My dog actually weighs 45 kilos, so uh, I'm not going to be picking no dogs out. <laughs> Look, I, do I something have, to my uh, back. I don't know kilos to pounds, Paul, but uh, me and my wife's always had golden retrievers. And um, and oh. they're big golden retrievers. So uh, that's a hundred pounds, uh, 110 pounds are our golden retrievers. So we won't be holding them in our lap either. <laughs> yeah, that was that big. <laughs> yeah, no, I like I like big dogs myself. Definitely, yeah. I've got an old English sheepdog. Uh, but well, no, Paul, fantastic. I, Thank you. Yeah, Paul, Thank I you. really really appreciate you taking this time. Uh, uh, for those of you that are watching this video. Paul and I are partners. We're, we're partners and we're, we're now building an incredible close uh, relationship as far as friends. I can't wait to meet Paul in person. So somewhere around this video uh, is a link. You know, reach out to Paul. Let him be your tour guide. Let him guide you and, and take you through and point you to the right videos that are, are his favorite videos so you can get to know, like, and trust us. And, and when you do that, that's when you can understand that this will work for you regardless of the business that you're in. Even if you're not interested in, in building a business online or even doing a network marketing company, becoming a person that thinks like an entrepreneur and a business person is the key. What, you know, the skills that you'll learn in our mentorship program, I promise you, I tell people, go in, 
go into the mentorship program if you can afford to. And if you don't like it for any reason, any reason, then ask for your money back. I'm not even going to ask you why you want the money back. And so, you know, I just know that people that try to change their lives with the same information that got them to where they are right now is, is it never works. Albert Einstein said it best that the mind that got you where you are today, your philosophy, your psychology, your way of thinking got you to where you are today. If you want to get to someplace different, you got to stop listening to people other than you. <laughs> so that's one of my keys to success. So allow Paul to uh, point, guide, and direct you to the right place. If he can't get your answers, uh, uh, answers for you, you can see Paul and I will hook up and make sure that we get those answered for you so you can make a good decision and start getting the right results in your life from this point on. So I really appreciate it, Paul, and, and thank you very much. Okay. Might be different.